Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing today? I tell you what, it is a beautiful morning here in Angeles City. Beautiful. I love this time of the year. It's not hot. You're not sweating. Nice little breeze going on. Uh, this morning I'm having breakfast here. Let me kind of let me give you a reference of where I'm at. Right down here, if you go to the right, is A Santo Street. Tequila Reef is on the corner there. I am having breakfast this morning right here at the Swiss Chalet. It's a pretty cool looking building, huh? I guess it's like a, a Swiss looking building. I don't know, never been to Switzerland, so I can't tell you. But this is another one here. It's, if you don't know it's here, you, will, you won't come here. Uh, the food here, I've had dinner here and breakfast here many times. But I'm having breakfast in here, and I will show you the room, or hopefully, I'm getting ahead of myself, hopefully I'll be able to show you one of the rooms here of what they have to offer. Uh, but they do have inside dining, and they have outside dining. Me, I'm going to sit outside, because it's a nice breeze. All right, so my breakfast has arrived. I'm not going to eat all this. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes you go for breakfast and uh, it's just way too much, right? But check this out. This is called a farmer's roasty. Of course, they have eggs, they have bacon, they have um, your French toast, your pan. You know, that you have your English breakfast, American breakfast. But guys, this is the farmer's roasty. Uh, a subscriber turned me on to this years ago. Fred, how you doing, Fred? I hope everything is good with you and your family. Um, have a Merry Christmas, uh, but here it is. Check it out. That's the farmer's roasty there. Two eggs on top of like a hash brown with onions in it. I think there might be ham in it, um, cheese in it. But boy, is this thing good. And like I said, half. I'll probably eat only half of that, so I'm going to dig in. All right, I'm in the uh, hotel entrance here where you would check in. Um, they have everything listed right here. I'm going to show you, show you what the rooms, uh, what each room is going to cost you. Um, so that way it gets you an idea. They also have a website. Guys, go on to the website. You can book it through the website. Uh, but let me show you here. There you go. A standard deluxe, 1,680 pesos. They broke it down here, 32 US dollars. Premier deluxe, 36 US. Superior deluxe, 40. And a suite is 260, or I'm sorry, 60 US dollars. <coughs> they do offer, they do also have, uh, they do also have cash discounts. So if you come here, uh, it says about, let me see, We are pleased to offer 5% discount for cash in advance upon arrival. So they do have a 5% discount. So there are your rates to the rooms here. Let's walk, let's talk, shall we? I gotta walk this breakfast off. Morning, Kuya. <clears throat> uh, uh, Tequila Reef is having their Christmas party this morning. So they are closed. We're just gonna cruise down A Santo Street. I think it's been a while oh, since. No, yeah. Hey, good morning. Hello there, hello. All right. <laughs> We're going to just cruise down A Santo Street here. See what's going on. See if there's anything new. Um, there was a... Morning. I heard something about the... Uh... Hey, morning. Morning, Sarah. I heard the... Uh... Oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. Yes. Any shout out? I'm from Philippines. You're from Philippines? Yes. Kapapangan. What's your province? Kapampangan. You're Kapampangan. Yes. All right, all right. What is this? YouTube. Vlog. Vlog. My question to you, Koya. Koya. Oh. You were born and raised here, right? How do you pronounce this city? Pampanga City. Angeles. Okay, how do you pronounce this city we're in? 
Pampanga City. Pampanga City? Yes. Not Angola City. There's two, two names. Two names. What's yeah. the other name then? Angeles City, Pampanga City. So can you say the name Angeles? Angeles City, Pampanga City. There it is. Angeles City. Thank you, sir. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. There it is. Coming from a man who was born and raised here. You heard it, Angeles City. So, those that tell me, or those that say, you're mispronouncing it, there it is. Came right. You couldn't get, you couldn't get a better pronunciation. All right, I'm down the road here a little bit further down past uh, One Euphoria and stuff, where it kind of gets in where more of the people themselves live. Here I am. Now, I was told, I'm trying to get a, a straight answer. I spoke to the truck drivers guys, but I can't seem to, morning, can't seem to get like a straight answer. I don't know if it's the language barrier between us, but I was told that back and through here, all this area from a certain point down is going to get demolished. These people have to leave. They were told to leave. Uh, morning. Do they buy them out? Do they give them so much money to live? Do they give them an area to move to? Uh, I don't know. Usually that's kind of how it works. They will buy them out, give them some money, and also give them a place to move to. What's coming in? Once again, can't get a straight answer from anybody. Nobody knows. Uh, but somebody's saying this is all private land back in here. But from what I understand, good morning. Good morning. From my understanding, I thought it's government land. Once again, can't get a straight answer. But I've walked back in here quite a few times. Uh, morning. Good morning. Quite a few times. People very friendly. Uh, this is its own little community. They got sorry, sorry stores. They got little food stores, uh, restaurants, little boutiques back here for people. It's very busy. All right, so I spoke. A better way to find out and get information from than to just speak to the people living back here. There were two nice ladies that uh, were nice enough to talk to me. And uh, she said, yes, this whole area, she said this is all private property, private land back in here. There's an owner that owns all this. And what's happening is they are forcing them all out of here because I guess the landowner is taking over. I asked them what they plan to, uh, what they plan to. Uh... <laughs> good morning, good afternoon. Good, good morning, I think. <laughs> what, what, what they plan to bring in here, they said they didn't really know. Uh, but I know they said come after the year that they plan to push everybody out of here because um, as I'm walking through here I'll show you what I'm seeing I'm starting to see this on these on these buildings here no trespassing right of ex execution implemented under sheriff custody this is what I'm seeing what's up buddy what's how up? are you man shout out man. yeah Two joints, two joints, two joints, two joints, all right. <laughs> but here it is again. There's some that do have it, others don't have it. And I asked her, like, what area? She was kind of telling me the whole area back and through here. There's another one right here. And from my understanding, there's another one right here. From my understanding, I was told they were told this months ago. Um, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. It doesn't seem to be any urgency amongst the people. Uh, they're saying after the New Year's, this is all going to happen. It is Christmas time. So, uh, this is what happens, right? Big money talks and uh, the little guy walks. All right, so I finally got to the bottom of the whole thing. I figured somebody with a business up the road here that's been here a while would know. I'm here at uh, Chris's Cafe. It used to be Dave and Cherry's. Um, she told me that all that back in there is all private property. At one point, it was owned by the government. 
this person bought the property off the government. This person also, these people back in there two years ago, before pandemic, were paid for their property. They knew two years ago that they were going to get pushed out of there. Some people stayed, some people went to the province, other people just moved, they moved out of the area. So they've known this now for quite a few years. I also was told by the, the woman here that these people lived back in there and didn't pay rent for anything. They didn't pay rent. They built, they built a house, built a business, and never paid rent, rent free. They paid electric, they paid water. Some people turned around on the land that they basically squatted on, built like a little apartment complex on the land that they squatted on that they're paying for nothing, turn around, build apartments, and then turn around and rented these apartments out. So they were making basically free money, um, but these people I've known for over two years. And I said to her, I said, what's gonna happen? And a uh, lady in here told me, she said, they're gonna force them out. Uh, they'll either come in there and try to force them out or just start demolishing it. And as you move down and demolish, people will have no choice but to leave. It's sad, it's sad, but this is the reality of things here. Uh, how long it's been back in there like that, I have no clue, but there's even a mosque back there. Uh, it goes back in far to the left, far to the right, and back in. She said there was a barrier there, but I didn't see one. Uh, but that's, that's what's going on. I finally got to the bottom of it, and like I said, she would know. She lives here, she, this establishment's been here a long time. Um, that's what's going on back in there, guys. All right, guys, so if you've watched the entire video, from the beginning to the end, to where you're hearing my voice right now, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, you don't read two chapters of a book and know the ending, right? Um, so, guys, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for the comments. I read all the comments. Um, I do appreciate the comments. Thumbs up. Um, Christmas week. This is Christmas week. Uh, tomorrow I am going to, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Just play it day by day, right? Can't really have any, can't really have plans. You just kind of, you gotta, gotta wing it every day, right? So with that being said, we'll talk to you later.